Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you on my channel. I know it's not quite too late, but I have started making videos on the new countdown book. This is for grade 6. This video is on exercise 3A and I've just skipped question number 1 and 2 because they are quite easy and you can solve them and check your answers or you can answer them and check your answers at the back of your book. So that's the reason I am not solving them because they are just true or false or such kind of questions. And I'm solving question 3 till question 12. And for these questions, you should know some of the concepts which are not quite difficult. We will be learning them in our video. So let's start. Okay, look at this question, question number three. I'm skipping question number one and two because this question is also very easy. We have to write the first five multiples of 47. See, we just need to write only five multiple. First five means shuru ke paanj aap So uh, let's do it. You simply have to write the table of 47. You can write it like 47 multiplied by 1 is 47. 47 multiplied by 2 is 47 multiplied by 2 is 94. 47 multiplied by 3 is 141. 47 multiplied by 4 is 188. And 47 multiplied by 5 is 235 okay so this is how you will write the multiples of 47 or even if you some of you might guess them directly or can multiply it by using our rough work and you can you can write it in this way also 47 comma 94 141 188 and 235 are the first five are the first five multiples of 47 this is how you are gonna solve this question moving to our next question which is list the multiples of 7 between 10 and 40 what you have to do is you have to write all the multiples that lie between 10 and 40 and those should be the multiples of what 7 now see 7 multiplied by 1 is 7 and 7 does not lie between 10 and 40 so you can't write it here so 7 multiplied by 2 is 14 so you can write 14 and then 7 multiplied by 3 is 21. You can write 21 because 21 is between 10 and 40. 7 multiplied by 4 is 28. You can also write 28. 7 multiplied by 5 is 35. You can also write 35. And 7 multiplied by 6 is 42. Now look at this. You can't write. 42 because 42 is greater than 40 so that means 14 21 28 and 35 are the multiples that lie between 10 and 40 it's that simple in this question what we have to do is we have to list the multiples of 11 that are less than 50 so that means you will write 50 here but 50 is not included you can circle it and you can write all the multiples of 11 and there are less than 50 11 multiplied by 1 is 11 you all know the table of 11 table of 11 is quite easy 11 22 same numbers are repeated in 11's table 33 then 44 and next one is 55 but 55 is greater than 50 so that means this is our answer so the multiples of 11 less than 50 are 11 22 33 and 44 okay in this case what we have to do we have to list the numbers there are less than 50 and the numbers should be what the numbers should be less than 50 
and what it's saying the numbers are less than 50 but are multiples of both and which are multiples of both two and three so in this case we need to list down all the multiples of all the multiples of two and all the multiples of three right it's also off here for two the table of two is quite easy you can write two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, and then you have 42, 44, 46, 48, and you can't write 50 because 50 is not included it's saying less than 50 right so let's write the multiples of 3 here these were the multiples of 2 3 6 the multiples of 3 are also quite easy because you all know the table of 3 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 27 20 uh, sorry 30 33 36 39 42 45 48 and that's it now what we will do is it's quite easy although some of you can do it directly also but i'm telling you the long method so that you understand the concept so look at the table of three in three whatever the even numbers are of course we're going to select it because the even numbers are all multiple of two that is we have and that is we have six we have six we have 12 we have 18 we have 24 we have 30 36 just select the even ones and you will notice that the even one ones lie in both because two is also even and the multiples of two are all all even so you can also if you want to circle the others also you can do it because the numbers are the same no, two is not included sorry i mistakenly did this two is not there two is there but the multiple is not common in both all right because in table of three two is not included so let's see we have six twelve and 18 then we have 24 then we have 30 and 36 42 and 48 how many multiples are uh, are there which are common to both there are a total of one two there are a total of one two three four five six seven eight multiples which are common in both you can write the comments here or you can write it in the answer as okay let's write it here it's better to write it here 6 12 18 24 30 36 42 and 48 this is our answer okay now what it's saying is question 7 says without actual division we have to tell whether each of the following numbers are divisible by 2 3 5 or 11 for the first one it's not divisible by 2 I can write it like uh, let's write it in this way I will write 2 here I will write 2 and I will write 3 and I will write 4 5 and I will write 11 and I will consider them for all of them all of these numbers I mean now 105 is not divisible to uh, divisible by 2 because it ends with 5 I will write no here and for 3 the sum of all the numbers should be divisible by 3 
5 plus 1 is 6, so yes, this is divisible by 3. And for 5, yes, it's divisible by 5 because the number 105 ends with 5. What about 11? For 11, we need to check what we will do is, uh, what we will do is, for 11, we will check. It's like uh, we have to take the alternate, the alternate sum of the numbers. I can write it here. 5 minus 0 plus 1, which gives you 6. And 6 is not divisible by 6 is not divisible by 11 so no this number is not divisible by 11 I guess you got it let me explain it once again it's like uh, you have to take the alternate sum of all the digits like uh, you're starting from the right for example this is 5 see you have to start from 5 with 5 there will be a positive sign and with 0 there will be a negative sign with 1 there will be a plus sign now 5 plus 1 is 6 and 6 is not divisible and we will check the next ones you will come to know now look at 2091 it's not divisible by 2 i will just write no here and the same goes here for 2 and what about 3 it's uh, let's count let's sum up the digits 9 10 11 12 yes it is divisible by 3 and for 4 for uh, sorry not 4 it's 5 for 5 it's not divisible by 5 because the number ends with 1 and for 11 let's check for 11 what you will do is you will take 1 with a positive sign from the right then 9 with a negative sign 0 with a positive sign and 2 with a negative sign now uh, 1 minus 9 is minus 8 minus 2 which will give you minus 10 and minus 10 is not divisible by 11 so no this number is also not divisible by 11 coming to the third one let's look at 997 for 2 it's not divisible by 2 because it ends with 7 for 3, let's sum up 9 plus 9 as 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 is not divisible by 3, so no, this number is not divisible by 3. What about, what about 5? This number is not divisible by 5. Why? Because, because the number ends with 7. And what about 11? Let's check it. 7. Then we have minus 9, then we have plus 9. Then uh, these two cancel with each other. We have just 7. But 7 again is not divisible by 11. So no, this number is not divisible by 11. Coming to 4, 2730 is divisible by 2 because it ends with 2. What about 3? We have to sum all the digits 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, it is divisible by 12 because the sum of the digits gives you a number 12 that is divisible by 3. So, yeah, it is divisible by 3. What about 5? Yes, it is divisible by 5 because the number ends with 0. And let's check 11. For 11, we will check the alternate sum 0 minus 3 plus 7 minus 2 now you get 7 uh, minus 3 is 4 and minus 2 is this 2 2 is not divisible by 11 so no this number is not divisible by 11 let's check the last number that is 1331 this number is not divisible by 2 because it ends with 1 and what about what about 3? Let's sum up all the digits. 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is not divisible by 3. So, no, this number is not divisible by 3. What about 5? This number is not divisible by 5 because it ends with 1. And what about 11? Let's check 11 for taking the alternate sum. 1 minus 3 plus 3 and minus 1. And finally, this number is divisible by 11 because 0 is divisible by 11. 0 divided by 11 is equal to 0. So for the 11, yes. And for every other, it is a no. 
so i hope you get it because it's just where you have to apply the divisibility rule and you should know and you must know few of the table correctly and the divisibility rule must be revised to do this question carefully now this is again uh, an easy question where we have to list the multiples of 37 between 100 and 250 i have skipped question one and two as this question i find it very easy and you will also find it easy now what we have to do is we have to write the multiples of 37 that are between 100 and 250 okay so let's write 100 here and let's write 250 here and we have to write the numbers in between so 37 multiplied by 3 is what is 37 multiplied by 3 37 multiplied by 3 is 111 that means we can start from this number 111 so the next one will be the next one will be plus again eight again eight 37 in this number and you will get 148 that is 37 multiplied by 4 is 148 right and the next one is and the next one is 185 and that is 37 multiplied by 5 so you will write 185 here again 8 37 in this number and you will get 222 that is 37 multiplied by 6 is 222 and let's check for 37 multiplied by 7 let's see what it gives and it gives us 259 which is not included because 259 is greater than 250 so that means our answers are 111 148 185 and 222 i have skipped 37 multiplied by 2 why because 27 is 14 and 2367 it gives you 74 74 is less than what 100 uh, less than 100 that's the reason so these four are our answer for this question okay again we have to uh, apply divisibility rule in this question that is the divisibility rule for 11 it's asking it's asking us whether these numbers are divisible by 11 or not so let's solve it in the same way again from right to left 1 minus 6 plus 6 minus 1 it gives you 0 so yes it is and for this one let's start from the right 5 minus 1 plus 3 you have to use opposite signs in between minus 3 uh, sorry minus 5 and plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 cancels 5 and minus 5 cancel it gives you 3 so no it's not divisible by 11 let's check this number 3 mine i'm starting from the right side 3 minus 5 plus 4 minus 8 plus 3 and it gives you 3 minus 5 is minus 2 and this gives you plus 4 minus 8 plus 3 let's solve it gives you 2 minus 8 plus 3 and uh, by subtracting these it gives you minus 6 plus 3 which is minus 6 so no it's not divisible by 11 because 6 is not divisible by 11 for this one let's see 0 minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 and we have plus 5 then uh, minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 and minus 4 plus 5 then we have minus 6 plus 5 which gives you minus 1 and minus 1 is not divisible by 11 so no this number is also not divisible by 11 what about this one let's start from the right side 1 minus 8 plus 0 minus 3 plus 0 minus 1 so we have 1 minus 8 minus 7 minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 and this gives us minus 
7, 8, 9 minus 11. So no. Oh, sorry. Yes. 11 is divisible by 11. So what I will say is yes. And what about the last one? We have 4 minus 9 plus 4 minus 9 plus 6 minus 7. So we have, let's add all the numbers together. 4, 4, all with the plus sign. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then let's solve the negative ones together. 9, 9 is 18. 25 again 14 minus 25 is 11 yes so 11 is minus 11 is divisible by 11 so what you will say is yes this number is divisible by 11 so i hope you got the rule you just have to take the alternate sum and if the answer is something like 0 11 or whatever or the multiple of 11 that means the number is divisible by 11 okay coming to this question question 10 give an example of number which is divisible by 7 but not by 14 let's look at the table of 7 7 multiplied by 1 is 7 7 multiplied by 2 is 14 7 multiplied by 3 is 21 and what about 14 14 multiplied by 1 is 14 14 14 multiplied by 2 is 28. So yeah, there is the number 21, which is divisible by 7, but it's not divisible by 14. So 21 is our answer. You can take another example as well. What about this? It's divisible by 3, but not by 6. Let's look at the table of 3. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. And let's look at 6. 6 multiplied by 1 is 6. 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. Now see 9. 9 is divisible by 3. But 9 is not divisible by 6. So 9 can be the answer. You can take another example also. What about this 5 and 15? Let's see 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. And for 15, 15 multiplied by 1 is 15, 15 multiplied by 2 is 30. So you can take 20 as the answer because 20 is divisible by 5, but it's not divisible by 15. So this is how you can do it. Okay, looking at this question, test whether 6 is a divisor of this, 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 this. Okay, for uh, 6, what is the divisibility rule? For 6, the divisibility rule is the number must be divisible by 2 and 3 both. So let's check it for 2. It is divisible by 2. For 2, it's a yes. And for 3, we have to sum the numbers and the sum of the numbers must be divisible by 3. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See, yes, 9 is divisible by 3. So for 3, also it's a yes. So that means for 6, it is a yes. Let's look at question number 2. For 2, it is yes because the number ends with 6. And for 3, it is, again, see, 6 plus 3 is 7, 8, 9. It's a yes because 9 is divisible by 3. So for 3 also, it's a yes. If it's, if it's a yes for 2 and 3 both, then it means for 6, it's also a yes. Let's check for 1, 2, 8. For 2, it is a yes. And for 3... Let's sum up the digits 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. For 3 also, it's a yes. So yes, the number is divisible by 6 also. Let's check the last number. For 2, it's a yes because it ends with 0. And for 3, let's sum up the digits 1 and 5 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For 3, it is a no. So that means for 6, it is also a no. If it's no in one case, in the other case will also be considered as no. The answer will be considered as no. I hope you got the reason for this question. This is the last question and the easiest question where you have to check whether 9 is a divisor of these or not. For that, you just need to sum up the digits and the sum of the digits must be divisible by 9. 7, 8, 9. See, 7 plus 0 is 7 and 7 plus 2 is 9 so yes in this case yes 
it's divisible and 4050 again you have two zeros you don't have to count the zeros and just count five and four together five six seven eight nine and yes nine is divisible by nine and what about this two and seven are nine nine plus and this is 10 11 11 plus 7 is 18 so yes 18 is also divisible by 18 is also divisible by 9 what about this one 5 and 5 is 10 and the 16 17 18 19 19 is not divisible by 9 so you can see that it's not a divisor of 9 so this is how you solve these questions once you once you pay attention to the divisibility rule once you memorize the rules once you up, start applying the rules it gets quite easy to solve these questions thanks again for watching please do subscribe to my channel bye, -bye.